Today's topic is about good things and not so good things. Come and commiserate with me. Hi, Tanya here from Draw for the Giants, again with your weekly update on what's happening with my weight. Oh, yes, it's true. Not only did I not lose weight this week, but I gained two kilos. In fact, I tell a lie, I actually lost a kilo. So, um, and I've gained that back and put an extra on, or just less than that. Ah, stars. Last week you would have remembered that I was doing a 48 hour fast. However, a couple of things happened. Number one, we had a weather change here. We're in the middle of February, so it's still our summertime. However, we had a big storm come through and it was cold, so cold that I was this close to putting the fire on. So I was snuggling down with my dressing gown in front of television thinking, mm, I want to eat something. Number two, I'm actually coming to the end of my house sit here um, in Matawai. And therefore those who I've made friends with in the neighborhood around me started calling me, asking me around for dinner. Although I was in my 48 hour fast, the relationship I had with these people were much more important. Uh, so I decided that I would uh, forfeit my fast um, and, and eat with them. Uh, consequently, I went to bed on a full stomach, which um, didn't, it sort of, got me out of kilter, which I knew it would, but you know, I was in a social setting. Usually I come back to my equilibrium the next day and I can continue with my fasting and I'm, I'm actually good as gold with it. Instead of fasting or intermittent fasting, I kind of had, you know, I grazed a bit. This is the first time in four months that I've actually gone through this little setback. And I really did not want to make the video because, um, you know, with that self, that self-competition and the I don't want to be seen um, to making mistakes but really at the end of the day um, that's life folks <laughs> mistakes happen um, things you wish you hadn't have done happens and it's a matter of picking yourself up so one thing that you can celebrate with me though is since I last made the video my pants are too loose. Yeah, they are. They're way too loose. I only went to the shops because I had a few minutes to kill and I thought, well, I'll try on a couple pairs of jeans with the intention of just finding out where I was sitting in the spectrum between sizes. When I bought these at a second-hand shop, they were really tight against my legs and my backside and they're a size 22 and look at them now they've just in the last four months gotten really loose so i got into these pants these are an xl and um, they were tight against me too but now they've loosened up considerably so this last week i went shopping and bought these these are quite amazing because they're a medium of all things and even though i am still round these are the sizes now that I can fit. I don't recall the last time I had a size medium anything. <laughs> At least it was a medium sized drink. <laughs> I was kind of overwhelmed by it. And then I felt really emotional by it. And then I just sat in my cubicle and blubbed quietly to myself. The meal that I'm sharing with you today is basically leftovers. So today we're going to have a stuffed marrow.
So I've just put that in the oven. It's actually a very rainy, cold day here today and therefore I'm kind of wanting some comfort food and I've probably made myself a little bit more than what I would normally have but I don't have to eat it all if I don't want to. So I've put avocado and um, olives on here and it's just ready to go. That was a really delicious meal. The dog actually finished it for me because I couldn't quite get to the end of it. It's been a real pleasure to be able to share my more sobering story with you this week. I feel like I need to apologize that I didn't lose weight, but you know, these things happen. If you have any questions for me, please drop them below. If you would like to follow me as I continue on my weight loss journey, consider subscribing. It'd be lovely to have you along for the ride and uh, commiserate with me some more and celebrate with me some more. I'm Tania from Draw for the Giants. Until next week.